Oh, there you go. The music ain't even coming through. Man. Let's see if I can get it to come. Y'all can hear it through my headphones. I got gotcha. you. Can you smell it with the brand that was streaming tonight? We are streaming WWE Unboxing Live number 34. As I will roll back the background music for tonight. Uh, the first time trying out some things that are a little bit different. The chat is a little small. Can I actually change that? Let's see if I can change that. The sizing of it. Or do you guys give a shit? I can change it to, uh, next time. Uh, everything's new. If you didn't notice, um, this webcam is a little bit sharper now. Um, that's awesome. Uh, I had to reinstall Windows if you don't follow my Facebook page. Um, kind of sucks, but whatever. Today's WWE Unboxing Live. Stuff is right there. We're going to talk about the Royal Rumble. Of course, do Q&As. I'm going to see if I can somehow... Let's see here. Uh, let's go... Let's go smaller here for this. Uh, let's go four. Let's see, go two. Uh, that's a little bit better. Let me cut it off a little bit more. Whereas I was trying to dance. I wasn't having a stroke. Um, Mike is low. Are you sure? Rob. Um, I think the music was just really loud. Uh, the mic should be relatively good. Uh, I guess I can boost it a little bit. How was that? That's probably better. Um, let me fix this chat and make it a little better. It has been a while, Master Bill. What's up, Pablo? Alejandro? Let me fix this. Uh, what's up, Clayton? Uh, let me fix this shit. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's go. Yeah, let's go even shorter. Let's go 750. That's too short. Let's go. Let's try 850. I am a nerd. Got it done. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? What's up, Brian? I know, man. It's been a minute. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. What do we got today? Do you see in the description down below what we got? Well, I guess. Let's show it off. <laughs> let's just show it off what we have here. Mm. We have... Uh, the stuff I advertised, which was uh, uh, Series 2 flashbacks. And then we have uh, Yokozuna. And then, I um, forget the Joker voice. And then we got, um, yes, this is the guy who made the How to Talk to Like Kyle Ryan video. I like wrestling. So, uh, Mean Gene Oakland. This was supposed to be a Build-A-Figure for uh, Walmart exclusive. Thank God it's just a figure itself. Walmart still did a bigger uh, build a figure of Howard Finkel. Um, can't talk about the leak Mattel toys. We're not going to do it. I'm not getting my stream shut down. Um, this is Sergeant Slaughter. So this is all build a figure. I have all of the build a figures. So we're pretty much just going to open them. Everything really quickly today. Talk about the Rumble. Yeah. Um, pretty much going to be selling these off and keeping the Howard Finkel figure. So. All right, what am I gonna do first? Let's go Mean Gene first. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, the bad video settings. Keyframe of four seconds. Let me see if I can fix that. Probably not. Um. Uh, let's see here. Uh -huh. Let's go two. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if that fixes anything. Cool. What's up, Matthew? <sighs> Let's also not have this playing. All right, that should be good now. What's up, Basketball Pro? I don't know why that's not refreshing. All right. Let's see if that'll work now. Can I do a Kyle Ren impression? Maybe later. Um, Please, stream, don't fuck up. <laughs> Come on, YouTube. Come on, OBS. All right, I think it should be a little bit better now. Hopefully, 
God help me. Um, me and Gene Okerlund, if you want, I'll just do this shit really quickly. What's up, rewind? <laughs> Go back to the autofocus. If you want to uh, find me and Gene at your local Walmart, uh, there you are. Um, front. This is a new style packaging. It looks pretty dope. So hopefully this stream, it says bad video settings still. So hopefully it's okay. Let's see. Huh? Fuck it, I'm not gonna mess with it. Uh, mean Gene on the side. Hmm, top. Please, YouTube, don't screw me over. I just want to show people these bigger than Taco Bell stills. Uh, yep, and then you build a, um, SummerSlam 88 set. Uh, what's up? I said what's up to Rewind. Uh, this is why I'm subscribed. So <laughs> that's hilarious. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the stream's not screwing me. Oh shit! Whoops. Yeah. Um, best Royal Rumble after been Wild winning in 04. That was a really good Royal Rumble. Um, might as well just talk about that right now. Uh. If, but first, yes. You know what? This is so cool. This is worth keeping right here as a backdrop. That's nice. Um, really was a great Raw Rumble. Shinsuke was the favorite to win, and he did win. And then Asuka was the favorite to win, and she won as well. So that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, packaging. Mattel did not get cheap. Uh, you have um, plastic right here to hold in his left thigh and it looks like that's about it so um yeah shoot you got a, looks like he has a spare uh jacket and arms so i don't oh and this clear tape or uh, a clear plastic thing to come on there um to hold both sides clear tab to hold both arms um and I will cut off the one for his thigh here. Not with my knife. With my scissors. There we go. Do I think Chris Paul is going to Hall of Fame? He's never going to get it. Does he deserve it? Maybe. I don't know. I was surprised they tweeted out that they... Um, China. Hey, my stream health better now. Good. Um, I'm surprised that... Uh, I want to use my knife. Damn it. I was surprised they talked about or mentioned uh, China's name. I tweeted that out. China's freaking name was mentioned by Stephanie McMahon of all people. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, yes. Mean Gene. It's bald ass head and everything. Rampage triggers look pretty good. I'm surprised. Let's see if I can switch to autofocus. Yeah, see, autofocus kind of sucks balls. Here you go. <laughs> nope. No, not yet. There's this bald-ass head. What's up, Basketball Pro? The scan. I'll fix it here for you. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to have him interview uh, Iron Sheik up there in my diorama. That's a goddamn... And there's lag. Yeah, there was lag earlier. Now the stream helps a little bit better. You can also down play it from uh, a stream at 1080p. So if it's lagging a lot, 720p, your internet might be not keeping up. And uh, 480 also. So if you want to keep up, uh, you don't want to have it buffer. Um, Really great head scan. Pretty much accurate jacket. Looks pretty sweet. So looking forward to... Oh my god, I didn't even notice it. Is there... There's probably not a stand, is there? Hmm. Looks like no stand is included. Whatever. What is included, though? Up uh, now we're back to bad bad video settings. God damn it, OBS and YouTube. Bam. He does look sweet. Our light, and then he comes with the mic. See, it looks like uh, you, you, you got that. Oh. Bam. 
So let's show it off close up. Ba -da -da. Ooh, oh shit, come on, mouse. Yeah, I gotta I got show you guys my shit right now. I'm, I'm using a, uh, um, first of all, it looks great. I'm using a, um, a mouse. It's Logitech brand, but um, I'm using a mouse that is, what's up, Angel? Um, not my mouse that is my usual mouse because my usual mouse crapped out on me and ruined my computer. I had to reinstall everything. It's on my Facebook. There's the light. Let me get measurements and then uh, move on to the next guy because that's pretty much it. I'll go with Yoko maybe next. Measurements. <sighs> mean Gene, I have no idea how tall he is in real life. Um... Like right under six and three quarters inches tall. So, there you are. For a mean gene. Let's just for, for shits and giggles, how tall is the light? Pretty much the same as size, about six and three quarters inches tall. Um, yeah, well, you know what? For the people, for the people, let's um show off how easy the arms can come off, possibly. I have no idea. Oh, wow. It came off quite easily. Mm-hmm, yikes. Celeste Abigail, I know nothing about WWE. Yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people come here, you can look at the chat right now. People talk about dinosaur shit. Um, how in the hell do I get this jacket off? Just slips over his body, maybe. Uh, people talk about dinosaur stuff. Um, people talk about... Oh no, I just noticed his little... Damn it! Little defect on his jacket. Fuck! Mm, cries. Yeah. They talk about dinosaur stuff, Star Wars stuff, movies. Uh, they asked me if I listen to the latest Eminem album, <laughs> which I have not yet still. Oh, this is brutal. Oh, I can't get this freaking thing off. Dude, yeah, it's just got a corpulent ass belly. <clears throat> There we go, it's coming. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, there we go. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna just slide it on, I guess. I'm gonna have to do one of these things. <sighs> yeah. For fuck's sake. I'm a goddamn dick or something. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Stupid shit. This is his wrong arm, Matt. Wow, okay, that pops in relatively easy, though. No, no. This is not the setup you want with your mean gene, but show it off for the people. Why? I have no fucking clue. That's what I do. Bam. Done. Did I, did I see Star Wars Last Jedi? Yeah. Uh, Victoria's Cantina is where I reviewed it. Um... Gonna give him a recommend. I forgot to do that. So recommend. Let's go with uh, Yoko next. Dump this shit on the floor. Oh my god, I almost stabbed myself. Put it over here. So Yoko Zona. I think it's uh, what the hell is it? Roman's uncle? Cousin? Um, Yoko, same box. This, I think this is a Elite 15 reissue, so we're about to find out. Mm. Very cool stuff. Backing. Uh, you want the barcade. And then let's open this. I'm gonna fuck it up, see if he's a. Uh... I'm assuming he's Elite 15 re-release or reissue. Mm. And he comes with a sign for SummerSlam, I suppose. Oh, yeah. It doesn't move anymore. What doesn't move? The stream? The stream doesn't move anymore. Oh, no. My TV just turned off. There it is. It's back. Oh, power out. Anyway, uh, Yoko. Looks like he's got, which I will use scissors for. 
Uh, sign. Plastic. It's yeah, whatever. So here's all the set on the back side that comes with. So the sign, the back of the sign, the camera, the light, and the microphone. So and then I gotta collect Alter War, which I'm not gonna buy, and Six, which is X Pac, which I'm not interested in buying either. So, yep. Come on, um, Summer Slam, yes. Come on, um, freaking OBS and YouTube. Give me good video settings, damn it. I think I just pop them out. Oh my god, this guy's huge. Holy shit, this is a good figure. So he comes with his, um, that's a nice nipple. Did his nipple come out? Or is it on the back here? Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, this guy, he's a big, uh, big athletic guy. How long were you on YouTube? Uh, since 2015, like a full-time job, I guess. If that's what you're asking me. Uh, looks like maybe just come off. Um, I'm not gonna be able to take that off, am I? Because I, my fingers are, I just cut my fingernails. Oh man, up! Oh, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Are you gonna watch Jurassic World 2? Nah. Yeah, hell yeah. Are you kidding me? Shit. There we go. Oh, Yoko Zuna. Yoko, his strap just came off. Yolo. This is an impressive figure. The only problem I have right now is, it seems like his, his midsection is very loose. Those nipples look off. Oh, he doesn't have any nipples on here. Oh. Show off his head scan. But, but, nah, nah, nah. There we go. Pretty impressive. Looks pretty good. The most impressive part is his butt. That big ass butt. Hey, Sam's here. Oh, look how high. You're only like, hold on. Let me find out how late you are. Hold on. Hold on, Sam. Hold on, Sam. Hold on, Sam. How late are you? You are. You are. Hold on. Oh, I can't find out. Ah. Oh. oh, well. You're probably uh, 20 minutes late. I got you, Sam. Calling you out. Sorry. Ugh. But, uh. See how much, like, artic I never had a figure this big. The only other big figure I've had is, um, the Earthquake. Really great articulation for the knees. And he can go all the way down and sit down and crush people in the corners. And, uh, he can do, like, the splits. So, this is a good figure. This ass don't lie. It's not a bad figure at all. This is a definitely p good pickup. I do not think this is the Elite 15 one, though. Elite... Yoko Zuna. I think it was Elite 15. Yes, here. Yes, it is a, a reissue of Elite 15. I finally have my cut. Uh, uh, what's your tickets? Um, shortcuts back. So here is <clears throat> an Elite 15. Oh, it's a little bit different. So you see Elite 15 Yoko. He's got the black crotch, the black um, belt, and then the black. Um, little tassels and then his tights are red this one it's the opposite so um, very cool shut up I was like screw, screw you Sam screw you Sam we're not friends anymore we're not friends anymore sorry just kidding don't kill me <laughs> but yeah so honestly this is a good look I am I'm gonna find out uh, Wrestlemania I'm assuming this is this is WrestleMania attire. Um, it looks like Bret Hart. I don't know actually what the hell attire this is because it looks like at every WrestleMania he's wearing the one that's from Elite 15. So I don't know where are wrestling experts about Yokozuna. They should have facial scan those. I want these or the Jurassic World stuff. Do I like Pulp Fiction? Pulp Fiction is all right. I haven't seen it in a while. Um, I'm still failing to find a Yokozuna photo with black tights and then the red tape or belt. So, I don't know. But I guess it's good to have an alternate. I would definitely give this guy a look around. Let me, um, 
I don't know how tall Yokozuna was, and then I think he's like six six. He was six four, close. Get a measurement on. And then uh on to the build of figures and the retros, and then we can do QA and uh end it because it looks like uh OBS and YouTube kind of screwing me for my you know zero about wrestling. That's cool, dude. A lot of people come here, they don't know shit about wrestling. Either. I was, I, look at me, I didn't even know what the hell tights that this WrestleMania or whatever was from, or attire was from. So, da da da. He's about with his little beanie uh, hair, three eighths, seven and three eighths inches tall. So, and uh, yeah, that's Yoko. All right, we're gonna just do the build a figure. I'm just gonna show off the barcodes and the packaging real quick. Like I've been doing these guys. Um, put you over here. I don't need you now. And then I'm just gonna open them up and build up uh, the figs, of, or the one fig of Howard Finkel. So, Sergeant Slaughter, I mean, basic figures, they are really uh, good looking. Um, his hair reminds me of Ray's. My hair's Ray. Um, the build, <laughs> these build figures are basics. Basics suck, but the attires are freaking amazing and all. I just wanna say up front, packaging's really nice. And these are like $13 at Walmart instead of $10, which sucks, but they pay for the figure. Fucking horseshit. So I'm just going to show off the barcode, and then like every single one of these is the same on the back side, essentially. The Ravishing, <laughs> Ravishing Rick Rude um, render is amazing. Diamond Selector doing toys. Diamond Selector doing what toys? Pacific Rim. Good, if they are. Good, because that's a good company. All right, try not to screw up this box. Let's tilt down, shall we? This disgusting looking, nasty, not cleaned. <laughs> just unbox all this shit. Ugh. All right, arms, cool. Here's our Sergeant Slaughter. I'll get a measurement of him, I guess, quickly. Um, Oh my god, this is stiff as hell. F and A cotton. F and A. Oh! This. Okay, so I might as well show him off bald. That's a good ass hand scan. Yeah, that's nice. But, dude, I, I can't believe Mattel got so cheap. With the shoulders now, they do not feature a bicep swivel. Surprised that they let the this ankle articulation go because I'll, I'll show you off if some of these have their the new ankle articulation for the basics because it just sucks balls. Oh, more baldies. I mean, it's it's thick. Oh man, this is yeah. Whatever. Fuck it. Let's get a measure for him or let's just show them off. I guess with this full thing on. We'll get up. Mother fuck. There you go. Close up. I mean, it's, it's good. If you love basics, this is great. So, let's just get a measurement of them. And then, uh, we can go back. As I build my hard Finkel. I like the Robin Williams Jumanji. Yeah, dude. He's about 15 sixteenths, six and 15 16 inches of solid. With the, um, the Pulp Fiction figures were well made with the uh, head wrap on. So, next, <laughs> next figure. The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Uh, show off. Barcute, if you want to see him at Walmart and stuff, yeah. Thick knees. What's up with everybody saying thick? Anyways, um, head scan is not that great on this. Head scan is not that great on this, but. And it's funny, I have the um, four inch version of him. Rest in peace, Robin Williams, indeed. Okay. Oh, we have Howard's 
tux. So we're just gonna put spot A in the tab B. I said that wrong, but I'm dyslexic. There we go. We have half a Howard Finkel. Yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. Cool. Our million dollar man. He's got a rubber uh, jacket, but the rest is plastic. So. Um, that. Show up the head scan. It's very stiff. So. Take it for granted. The head scan's okay, I guess. I don't know. Thick. Yeah, everyone will stick. <laughs> um, show the back off. That's the back. Yeah. Pretty great. Let's get a measurement of him. I think in real life he's really tall. He's like 6'6 or something. I think I thought Yoko was 6'6 and he was 6'4. So whatever. Um, five eighths. I want to say six and five eighths inches tall. So, yeah. Uh, on to the next one. On to the next one. Ravishing Rick Rude. Wonderful. This is a like, type of Rick Rude figure attire wise I've been waiting for. But he's a freaking basic. Oh, yeah. The, the ankles. Well, that one doesn't count because he's got pants. So, we're not going to show off him. So, it's just a box Rick Rude. Extra thick. Rick Rude. <laughs> I'm sorry to frick up your face. Hmm. There you go, buddy. You got the legs. So we're gonna put the legs on. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my hard frankle, and it's terrible, I guess. Introducing first. <laughs> my. Oh, that didn't sound good. Y'all hear that? Fuck. What the hell? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? <sighs> Dude, I'm like putting a lot of force in this bitch. <sighs> yeah, it ain't working. Whatever. I'll put a hair dryer of it later. But cool. <laughs> oh, that shot off Rick's uh thing. There you go. Pop them out. Um, yeah, it's such a good looking figure. It's just, oh, that's a nice tight torso. Good looking figure. It's fortunate that, uh, okay, so he has his old school ink articulation, so whatever. N nice paint effects for the camera. Simply ravishing. And, uh, Really good head scan. I mean, I don't know. Basic. So there's no more bicep swivel. Sucks. Uh, this stupid tattoo. There it is. Unless that's supposed to be some kind of army thing, then I apologize. <laughs> um, I think Rick Rude was 6'4, 6'2 in real life. Might have been taller. I have no idea. Me and Heights today. Now I got a. Holy shit, he's se almost 7 inches tall. Oh my god. So, yeah. Cell. Uh, I'm an idiot. Bob Orton over here. Bob Orton, aka my friend Phil Savage. <laughs> no one's gonna get that joke. And Phil's probably not even watching. Probably in bed because he's an old man now, all married and shit. <laughs> There's the. <laughs> There's the barcode. Oh man. I should send this to Phil, but I can't. I'm selling these. There you go. The head. Very important that there is no defects and shit on there. Head. Oh my god. I think it's in. There's no. Oh, but I say no, it's not. <sighs> mm. Gotta baby it. Just gotta baby it. There you go. Cool. I heard a pop. Yeah. Ooh, shit. I'll pop that one in maybe later here. No, we can't. We can't really discuss. We're not discussing that until Toy Fair, okay? Um, really great head scan. This is the shit we've been waiting for. So that's a good looking figure. I'm just gonna figure out how to do these freaking. 
legs. Oh my god, I'm putting so much force into this. Fuck, fuck it. I don't care. Anyways, let's get a measurement of him. The reason I bought this stupid shit. He's an elite. Uh, six and uh, seven eighths inches tall. I can't see it. It'll work when you love it. <laughs> you got it right. You know, somebody knows what I'm fucking talking about. Um, yep, yeah, he's cool. I'll figure out the legs later. He looks really dope. Um, Cowboy Bad Barton. <laughs> My friend Phil Sabbath. I'm assuming he comes with a removable hat. And it, it is removable. So. Mm, cowboy Bob Orton. How accurate is the face scan? It's not too bad. This is, uh, if you didn't know, um, Randy Orton's dad. He always wore a cast, even though his arm was always healed. So, Randy's 6'4", so I'm assuming he's about the same size for his father. About 5 eighths, 6 and 5 eighths inches tall. So, uh, what do we got left? Oh shit! I gotta bust out the. I gotta bust. Oh, come on. I gotta bust out the retro ring for the retro figures. Oh yeah. The hat was over here. Okay. Yes, master builder. So I gotta put these ropes back on. Oh god, my fingers are too big for this shit. There we go. I take the ropes off because it's just gonna prematurely ruin this ring and the ropes. So I don't display it. Oh, what's up, hardcore? There we go. Today's first figure is this mother effer. <laughs> Triple H, so Series 2. Um, some of these cards might be really messed up. I found these like right before Christmas. All of them were destroyed, but because I'm be opening up on you know this live stream, it doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, so this is um, what's known as a... Um, oh my God, I totally forgot. A jumper. So everybody hates the jumpers. I hate them too. But uh, show off really quickly. Text on the back. And then there's the... You can find these actually for five bucks ish at Walmart because they're on clearance because they're clearancing them. Because Series Three is coming out, they don't have I think I think a Series Three wonderful a Series Three um, contract. So Series Three contracts with GameStop and Target. So you can find them relatively cheap at uh, Walmart right now, even though I got them full price right before Christmas. Show them off, yeah. Very eh head scan. The tights are very cool, though. This, I think it's 98 Triple H. It's a DX type deal. I'll show off action features. So, a jumper. They really dig. Oh, cool. His freaking feet are rubber. That's great. Mattel's awesome. And of course, his hair is rubber. If you guys collect these, you know what I'm talking about. Um, pretty much the jumpers. They go up and down. They used to be with the neck, and it was awful because you'd pinch your fingers. So you kind of just do that, and then you can come off the top. But his is a pedigree, but I'm just gonna just show it off anyway. So that is a jumper for the kids. Um, for the pedigree, God, jumper has no nipples. No, he does not. I don't think any of them have nipples. So, like, here's the rock. There's no nipples. Don't know what everyone's fascination with nipples is today, but <laughs> there you go. Um, I'm assuming his pedigree, so I don't know how the hell you would do it as a kid. Just for the kids, I guess. Uh, there's your pedigree. I'm being very disappointed with some of these releases, which really suck because Series 1 was, like, perfect. So, Series 2 is kind of disappointing. Uh, I got Kane. For Christmas for my mom in Indiana. That's where I was for Christmas. So, Kane loose. Because I opened on Christmas Day because screw this live stream. <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to, I got two presents. There's the barcode for Kane. 
And then Kane is the choke slam. So Kane's just like the rock action feature of Springs. So, yeah. Um, so choke slam. Just bring it, bring it, I'd say this figure back. And let's do a better one. Let's do a better one. Fuck. <laughs> Raise up this arm, probably be easier. Yeah, let's do one more. Kind of weak. So maybe hold this finger too. They make this so complicated now. Yeah, that was a little bit better for you. Better than the Triple H, I'd say. So. There's the sizing. Kane was way bigger than Triple H, but these guys are pretty much the same as size. And so, I got one. I got two more, and that's it. We can talk everything else. How am I feeling? I'm alright. How about you? Mankind, and then Sting because Sting's on the cover today. So Mankind, and you see this box just freaking destroyed. I don't know what dumbass man or woman or child. Oh my God! I almost dropped it on the mic. It's totally screwed with this. Here is the uh, barcode. Uh, I guess I'll show off the art. Uh, make his opponent's man. He, it's a manable claw, so I don't know how the hell this is going to really work out. Uh, Kane, the back of his art. Yeah, screw that guy. Straight up. Um, so, the tombstone's opponent down. Yeah, Cool art. Alright, Mankind. Um, he has like a rubber hair piece, his rubber mask, and then it seems that his shirt is rubber as well. Is his mask separate than his face? It's a different material, but it's kind of glued on there. So, he has the same feature as Stone Cold, which I had over here. I don't know what the hell I'd do with it. That's so much shit right now. Oh, it's on the floor. So I didn't, was not satisfied from the last WWE Unboxing Live. I didn't mention him at all, don't worry. Um, I didn't really like this figure. It kind of sucks. So, Favorite Hasbro toy line? Mm, Dress Part 3. You know, I'm, I'm about to sell off nearly all of my stuff from Dress Part 3. So I guess, you know, his feature is just like a clothesline, like Stone Cold's feature is kind of weak. But uh, Mankind's uh, not signature move, a facial move is the Manable Claw. So, like, kind of just, like, takes his fingers and puts his <laughs> someone else's mouth. So, you can still kind of do it. But, once again, this is kind of disappointing. I have to give recommendations at the end. I hope not to forget that. So, it's just like, Arr. I don't know. It's okay. It's a little disappointing, to be honest with you. You can go up and down, but whatever. Come on, Mattel. You guys start off with home runs and home runs. The man of the cover, Sting. He's a jumper. He does his signature move, which is a uh, stinger splash. Also, if you notice, the ticker will no longer do, or the ticker does subscribers and also the donations. Wrong way, Matt. The tip jar is over there. The tip jar is also for like other ones. So like if I do, uh, this won't be right. There you go. So there's, I'll fix that later, obviously. Um, Jurassic Park, Star Wars, that one, no. Anyways, yeah, you get it. The, the The tip jar is now in the corner. We have a visual tip jar. Um, subscribers and donations in the ticker. Uh, up here is the alert box just for donations. It won't be for um, subscribers anymore because we get so many damn subscribers now. Uh, hardcore, I'll answer your question after I finish this figure. I'm gonna answer everybody's questions. Oh, worst toy, worst Hasbro toy line, definitely Jurassic or the hybrids, but definitely probably Jurassic World. So there's the art in the back and show off the barcode. If you want to find Stinger, so this is like 1998, 1997 Stinger. You know they have like 2015 Sting. Stupid. Yeah, Jurassic Man, I'm not gonna, I can't say, oh my god, this is, it's the rubber boots, those are nice. Um, yeah, I really can't say Lost World, I, I feel like that's still Kenner. So, once again, jumper. 
Wow, he went out of the ring. So let's have a dream matchup, The Rock and uh, Sting. So we're going to try to reenact his uh, one of his signature moves. Not his finish. Well, I guess it's a finish move. Is the Stinger Splash. Stinger Splash is when he goes up and just kind of just goes, ooh, it's like a, it's like a, clo a full body clothesline type deal. So I'm going to see if I can reenact it here. Should be O2, relatively easy. Rock, stay there. Fucker. There. Well, he did it. And, uh... <laughs> he flew out of the ring. Let's see if I can go farther back. Oh, come on, you... Son of a bitch! Quint the voice. Oh, come on. Come on. Close. So, that's it. And then, uh... Rubber hair. Being a um, a jumper, this is honestly one of my favorite jumpers and a jumper that works because he does the stinger splash, which is his signature move. So, recommendations for them or skip them. I mean, I try to collect all these four inch dudes, so I'm probably going to recommend all of them. But, as someone who is a casual uh, collector, <clears throat> nope, too high. Uh, someone's a casual collector i'd say yeah no yeah um unless you want howard finkel no to all of these yes to yokozuna i think yokozuna elite 15 a lot of money i think he's at least 50 bucks might be a hundred dollars let's find out yes so I mean, Toy Wiz is a joke. Um, also, there's this uh, uh, Hall of Fame one that's a Target exclusive. But, uh, let's go here. Say so he's about seventy-six bucks. So recommend. He's he's kind of rare to find. Uh, and then I had Mean Gene. I recommend for sure. Don't put on his red jacket. Just keep his other shit. So let's check up on the chat. Yeah. Oh my god. That was a lot of shit. Now I have to sell this other stuff on eBay. My goodness gracious. Right. Can you see my dog? Yeah. Right there. My dog. Okay. Let's catch up on the chat now. Oh man. Ah, oh, shit. It looks like it didn't load up my, all my chat. Well, that sucks. It loads up a little... Oh, because I pressed refresh like a dumbass. So, I'm sorry. Um, I can only start with... Sorry, some random thing about Mattel Gills quality. Oh, man. <sighs> I need a job quick. Oh, it's true. For the... Yes, yes. Yes, you do. Ugh. He looks like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Does he look like Mr. Rogers? Uh, maybe. Nah, he doesn't look like Mr. Rogers. I mean, he don't look like that at all. He don't look like Mr. Rogers. Uh, that's funny, though. Ha ha ha. Hi, Mac. How's your sex life? Ha ha. Funny story. H O I Y. What's up, AJ Films or AJ? Uh, if you're still here, that was probably a little minute ago. Um, 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 um. Get my belly, I'm gonna eat you. No, he's not that bastard. <laughs> Which dinosaur am I most hyped to see from Dress World Fall Kingdom? That's a great question. Uh, there's a dinosaur that they haven't revealed yet officially. Well, named it. That if you know, you've seen the community's uh, leaks and talking about. That's the one. It starts with an I, ends with an R. <sighs> New Transformers figures are coming out. Dope. Dope. Um,. But I think the following can't tell yet. Can't talk about that. Can't talk about that. I'm not getting my video taken down. I'm very sorry. 
more baldies. I need to own the Jumanji on Blu-ray or something. Oh, hi, doggy. <laughs> hi, dress man. How are you? How's your sex life? Um, selling a wooden board at Walmart. That dude, yeah, I would really, really love to own a custom Jumanji game board. There's some dude on YouTube made one. It's like got a million views or something. I think he's a hundred thousand subs. I have no idea. Maybe ten thousand subs, but he's got at least a million views on the board. And I watched the video. The video is incredible. Oh man, I want a freaking board, a custom wood one. The magnets with the the game pieces, incredible. We have to wait till Toy Fair. Toy Fair is uh, Jurassic Man may be right. But I think it might be later than like Fair. It might be like 24th or some shit. Toy Fair, New York. February 17th or 20th. We're both wrong. <laughs> um how long? How do you wait this long for to open figures? Uh, what do you mean? Me or the audience? Trust me, you should go more in detail. That was actually pretty quick. If you know people wanted to, you know, educate that guy or girl. Rampage figures. I think I have one rampage figure. I think is a raptor. Do they have those rampage raptor figure. I need to get a new keyboard. Uh, no. I don't think it was a Rampage figure. It might have been something else. Carnage. It might have been a Carnage figure. That's what it might have been. Uh, Ape, so, ask, did I get a haircut? My haircut's been cut for almost a year now. <laughs> uh, Ape, no. April? April or March? When did I do that? Joker video. It was the Joker video. Cut my hair, did a movie, and uh, did my hair for the movie. It's life. Plus, long hair sucks, man. Short hair kind of sucks too, because you kind of want long hair, but when you have long hair, you want short hair, so it's all a shit show. Um, what was my Joker video? Joker video, Joker video, where are you? Hmm. There you are. Eight months ago. May 2nd, so May. May 2nd, I cut my hair from the movie. Ugh. Mankind Bear come with a Mr. Sacco. He does not. He doesn't come with a Mr. Sacco. That would actually be pretty freaking cool. I mean, it's only a $10 figure, so whatever. Um, but a Mr. Sago been a really, oh, that was loud. A Mr. Sago been actually pretty hilarious. What's your mic stream set, um, set up? Uh, this is my mic. This is a Shure SM27. Uh, you can buy it at my Amazon affiliate store. A link should be in the description. Maybe not. Yeah, all the way at the bottom is my Amazon affiliate store. So I have this mic in there. It's 300 bucks. If you don't have $300, it's fine. You can buy the Audio Technica 2020 XLR. So this is XLR. You can buy the XLR cords in my store too. But uh, the Audio Technica 2020 is 80 bucks. So pretty much produces the same exact sound as this. It's it's fine. Um, get yourself an XLR. Get yourself a nice preamp. I have my a Yamaha soundboard preamp. It's like 200 bucks. It comes with cables, I think. That's in my Amazon store. This arm is a Rode. I have no idea. But it's in my Amazon store too. It's a hundred dollars. Um, they sell a twenty dollar arm. If you can afford it, or if you can't afford this hundred dollar one, I should say, they get the twenty dollar one. It's like twenty seven maybe. Um, don't get it though if you really want to have a nice one because this is nice. You get your pay for in life. This hundred dollar arm and a twenty seven dollar twenty dollar one was a piece of shit. So yeah. That's my setup. It's all on my Amazon store down below. You can look at it. There's also movies and books and all kinds of shit in there too. So, yeah. Okay. So hardcore asked about anything wrong, fresh from like a self, hobbies that click action figures. No, because I think like 
Well, one of them graduated high school already, but uh, two of the Raptor Squad members are high schoolers and collect figures, so. I know that. I thought, when I first met him, I thought they were like my age or even older because one of them was like, uh, Joey's 40 years old. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> They're fucking ribbing me. So, whatever. Rib me all you want. Mm. You don't have to save money for new JW toys. I don't blame you. Don't blame you. That's what I'll probably be doing. I'll be live streaming them, showing them off. Uh, yeah. 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 Mr. Toys with gimmicks? Well. The uh, Mattel Dress World one should be just fine, baby. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I scrolled past too fast. Miss Toys again. There we go. Any funny bootlegs come across lately? Not really. Uh, I haven't really shot for bootlegs or seen bootlegs lately. <sighs> yes, Giordano Mac Tots. What a name. Um, my downsizing or low on funds? Both. I think downsizing is a good thing. I, I see a lot of collectors. They collect way too much shit. Like, look at me. Like, I could be easily keeping these guys. But I'm, I just wanted to think. So, I'm selling off what I don't want. And keeping what I want. And I feel like a lot of people don't do that. And you should. Honestly, I, I felt like... When I saw this, and I see the other 6-inch figures. Even Mean Gene. Because I didn't really grow up with that scale. I grew up with this scale. So, if I'm if I have a figure of this and then a six inch figure of Stone Cold, I'm buying this like nine times out of ten, cause uh, it's what I grew up with and I love this stuff. So, um, downsizing collecting is actually a good thing. So I sold. This is not an Instagram comment. I sold off um, all nearly all, but I kept like a couple like I really like like Krennic. All my three and three quarter inch figures, basic and super articulated. I kept only my favorites like Django, Count Dooku, and um, Kylo. But and I kept Finn. I'm waiting for a really good Ray to come out, but super articulated. Um, but I just don't like Hasbro what they've been offering. Vehicles suck. Uh, if you see my Instagram, I got Legos. So I'm into Lego Star Wars stuff, Hasbro stuff. So downsizing is a good thing. Think about it. I got two cups of water here. Actually, garbage, I don't know what you look like, so I'm going to pass for now. Show a photo. How's that sound? <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, uh, I love water. I love water, too. Yeah, basketball pro. Royal Rumble. Talk about that a little bit. Um, Royal Rumble. Um, yeah, I did see the Zast Stars. It was a 9 out of 10 or so. Um, so, Ronda Rousey. Uh, it's a Joe Perry. or Whatever I pronounce it. I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names. I'm dyslexic. Um, mixed on Ronda Rousey. I'm really waiting for Asuka to make her decision. That'd been really cool to see. Um, that didn't happen. The championship matches were kind of eh. Um, championship matches being the big ones. The first one, and then the Brock, Braun, Kane. Probably because I watched Wrestle Kingdom 12 recently, and that was mind blowing. It was incredible. New Japan is amazing. So watching WWE now is like not as good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a joke. Uh, so that was kind of weird, but the rumbles, both rumbles are incredible. The women and the men's. So, ten bucks down the drain. No, you get elimination chamber two. I think is coming up if you started yours today, like I did. So you should get two pay per views for ten dollars. What plans goals for this year? Assassination. Really great question. Uh, we're gonna try to continue these live streams, vlogs. The most important thing is uh, analysis of film. Those are my three main focuses for this channel, and they're gonna be. Oh, and then of course special videos like uh, how to store your movie posters. That's probably my next video coming. Um, shit like that. What's up, Bo? Shit like that. Um, that type of deal. It's 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 gonna be a great year for this channel. This channel is gonna be artistic and it's gonna be quality. I feel like a lot of people on YouTube they just spew out shit, and uh, maybe they do it for. Monetary reasons, clickbait, no idea, but I feel like uh, if I have a platform here that I need to create and spread my message or whatever I want to spread, so uh, people in power have a great responsibility, uh, <laughs> but it's true, so yeah, New Japan does kill it, New Japan is fucking amazing, like, 
Okada Naito was amazing. That might have been the match of the night. The junior four way was until I saw Okada Naito. Um, uh, Omega Jericho is probably the third best match. You know, Omega's my favorite wrestler right now. Like, holy shit, dude, it's amazing. Oh, he better stay in Japan. Never come to WWE. Screwed over WWE if you come to WWE. Um, mm. uh, be safe for you for upload? No, because Alejandro Mattel's coming after people who uh, spread those um, uh, images. Slow growing hair? No, I've, I've gotten my hair cut at least three times. <laughs> Maybe four times. It's not slow growing hair. My, grow, my hair grows back really fast. So, yeah. What's up, Guyzilla? Hilarious name. What's your favorite Papa Dinosaur? I only own one, the Spinosaurus. And I'm trying to sell it. I, or if I... Did I sell it already? I don't remember. But I guess it's a Papa. I really don't. I'm not really into Papa. A lot of people are into Papa. I don't give a shit about Papa, honestly. I like... I like articulation. I like these sinks, all right? <laughs> I like these. They got the legs that move. A little action feature, a little water. You can, you can go like this. You can go and then spray it out. Yeah, I like that. No, but seriously, I don't, that's what I grew up with. This is shit I like. I don't really like statues that much. They're cool, but I don't really like Popple. Uh, they're really nicely detailed. They look like Jurassic Park dinosaurs, painted well. Not into them, sorry. Uh, thanks for the nice t-shirt comment, Beth Bullpro. What's that? NECA? You don't want that. Yeah, it was my favorite part, too. That was pretty funny. And the uh, outro. Dressing up as Ian Malcolm. That's funny. Honestly, just buy any mic. New tech comes out fast. Well, or you, you want to look at reviews, too. Giordano. I wrestled in high school. Dude, I wish Andrew West. I would have done that. If I had to go back, I might have um, wrestled in high school and played football, but I just played hockey, baseball, basketball. My accent is awesome. What the hell? I have an accent. What? What's my accent? From the Midwest, dog. Same as Adam Driver, yeah. My mom lives in the same state as him. What? I think that might be why. Uh, rumored U.S. Cloud City set. Really? Do they have photos of that hardcore? Yeah, Cloud City confirmed 2018. That'd be actually pretty cool. Let's see some images. See if I can show you some images. Oh, it's just like a Lego idea. Cloud City. Well, well, what do we have here? Oh, that was the actual set. Here's an ideas. So that'd be pretty cool. That movie kicks ass. Yeah, you gotta have the, uh, you gotta have Vader right here. <laughs> Grabs Han's gun. That'd be pretty cool. If you're putting on Build a Figure for JW Toys, are you talking about like the, um, shit? Um, what the hell is this called? Brawlosaurus? I forget. I don't know, I hate build figures. Unless they're these. So if they do that for like a Brachiosaurus, I'm all for it. Yeah, sure. There's a store Poe X Wing. Is like a die cast? Those are pretty cool. My one friend I actually I was streaming with on Force Friday uh, this year. I saw Terminator 2 3D, and then I saw I went to Force Friday and streamed that on Facebook Live. Because YouTube is screwing me over. And I uh, had a pretty good time. That was a good ass day. But uh, he's totally into the diecast. He bought a shit ton of the like. He's in the video, so if you go to my Facebook, it's archived. Uh, you can see him liking. You hear the Kenny Omega thing in the background? Yeah, is it playing right now? Oh, uh, now the zone is playing. Um, yeah, Kenny Omega is in my my playlist. So if I keep doing live streams, you're just gonna hear, hear the same fucking music. Um, uh, yeah. My one friend loves the die cast, little die cast guys. Uh, oh, hello, Julian. <laughs> Are you from upstate New York? That's funny. If you watched me as a kid, it sounds like I'm from upstate New York because, or just maybe like Brooklyn or some shit. I don't know. 
uh, yeah, the uh, vintage collection. I don't know. People can go, oh my god, the vintage collection is coming back. Oh my god. But it's Hasbro still. Good luck finding it in stores. Good luck finding what you want online for relatively, uh, you know, MSRP prices. Uh, good luck getting what you want in the waves, which they're notorious for not, you know, I think um, for Han Solo, the movie in May, the toy line, they're reissuing the Balatik and uh, Rathtar set, which is a shelf warmer. You can't can't have people buying those like no one wants them and then reissuing like hasbro has no idea how to run a license anymore i don't think i don't know whatever mm. yeah i gotta find shinsuke styles i mean you got new japan uh world new japan pro wrestling world so they got it they got it on there um i wish shinsuke was still there but right now it's fine it's fine yeah how long is this live stream, Bass Pro Pro? Um, it'll end when these questions end soonish. Uh, it's about an hour long. I'm getting really tired, so yeah. It's going in in about five minutes, maybe. About five minutes. Did I see the NBA? NBA sucks right now. I hate all the super team shit. The Pistons suck too, so it doesn't help. The way you pronounce my A, that's funny. I have to look at other accents then. Do I use OBS? Yes, and you OBS and YouTube's kind of not playing right, and uh, it's not really playing nice right now, because um, I reinstalled OBS because I reinstalled Windows, and I forgot I guess put in a keyframe setting, and now it's like it's getting bad keyframe frequency, so it's, it might be a little shitty, a little laggy tonight. But next one after um, Illumination Chamber, which I don't have a figure yet, <laughs> um, hopefully that'll be better. But we'll have a new camera. Hopefully it'll be better too. So, I'm selling this Logitech. Logitech sucks. Ah, <sighs> man. Do I have a Super Bowl prediction? I'll just have one of the th three last questions. Um, I don't want the Patriots to win, and I think the Eagles will win anyway. So, I'm rooting on the Eagles, and I think the Eagles will win. So, Nick Foles is going to beat Tom Brady. You can't wait for XFL merch? Ew. No, I don't. I, I think XFL is going to fail again. I don't know. I hope it doesn't, but I don't know what the hell is doing. Wherever Bullet Co. is going, ROH versus New Japan Fractures, I don't know. I did see, sadly, I didn't, I didn't see, uh, fuck, what was it the thing from last night, two nights ago? New Beginnings? I didn't see New Beginnings. I just seen... Uh, Wrestle Kingdom 12, I did not see New Year's Dash, I want to see that one, and then New Beginnings, it's like Jay White versus Switchblade, uh, I think he went over Omega, like, how does that happen when you lost to, uh, Tanahashi, who, oh God, who the hell did he lose to in Kingdom, um, yeah, it's like, I don't know how Switchblade does it, and then Omega puts him over, like, what the hell, but, I ordered a freaking Hot Topic, uh, the elite long sleeve shirt, uh, the shirt that uh, the Jacksons wore the Young Bucks at uh, the G1 Climax 2017. Oh shit. Oh, shit, the elite shirt long sleeve. I bought it from Hot Topic like over a week ago. It still hasn't freaking shipped. It's this, it's this one. A freaking sick shirt, but it's like uh, I think I'm just gonna go into the mall and be like, hey, uh, are the shirt like over a week ago and I shipped it to the store is it gonna come in because I want it it's a cool shirt the toy fair happens am I gonna show to I mean I'm I can't show them because I'm not going so you got to find out photos of some other uh youtubers or not youtubers but uh you know news sites instagram or whatever the blue coat shirts. Oh yeah, Jordano! Boom! Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna get, but Canadian man is the man. So, um, I'm looking at, uh, um, I'll show you. Uh, blah, 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 blah. For 
Elimination Chamber, maybe... Oh, shit. Maybe you for Elimination Chamber. So, that did. This option one, possibly. I was looking at... I'm probably going to go with that one. This is another option I was looking at. But I want to skip because I don't really like the face. So this is option... Oh, shit, I did it again. Click on the damn image. This is option number two uh, for Elimination Chamber figure. And this is option number three, which is a good choice, too. But I think we'll go with option number one. This is option number three, which actually might be option number two. Big Evil, American Badass. Um, so here's like one of the original American Badass figs. It looks fine. This one looks great too, though. So, so I'm probably leaning towards Finn because I like Finn a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. The super chat, of course, the super chat puts it at the top. Um, 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 but yeah, Bullet Club shirts. What's your favorite plant eating dinosaur made of Triceratops? Um, you have all the Bullet Club shirts? I think that's what you mean. Uh, yeah, it's New Beginnings. Yeah, I've got um, the Leech, that long sleeve on order, and then I'm looking at, I'll show you the one I was going to get eventually. Uh, Kenny Omega has a lot. Actually, did I bookmark it? Let's see here. Yeah, I think I bookmarked it. It's called Game Over Shirt. So I'll show you here in a minute. This is the one design I really liked the most. So this is on Pro Wrestling Tees. Um, my one friend, he says that Pro Wrestling Tees quality sucks. And he's a huge, like, huge mark for New Japan. He's the guy that introduced me. Um... He said that he hates the quality for Pro Wrestling and he imports his shit from Japan. I'm like, oh my god, how much does that shit cost? So I'll probably just buy the Pro Wrestling Tees one. Uh, KC. I hope Omega goes to World Title. Omega Okada 2, or is it, should it be 3? Hopefully at Wrestle Kingdom 13. Because you know, if he doesn't have the US title now, he wins G1 August. January 4th, he fights. Okada. Okada's freaking, man, Okada is amazing, man. Like, holy shit. Yeah, that website everyone in Chicago. They have a store in Chicago. That's pretty cool. Man, I was in Chicago. I should have went. Whatever. My thoughts on Kyron Actor for Battlefront 2. I have never seen um, or heard his his impression or his work, so I don't know. I have no idea. Um, Sorry, Jet Jag. I have no anthology. Oh. What's your least? What's your least favorite toys of every toy line you covered? Are you talking about for like just for this YouTube channel or in like ever? Jurassic Man, I'll let you answer that. Basketball Pro wants the um, Braun Strowman. Go collect wrestling figures now. The end of it, huh? Let's look you up. Are you a wrestler? Mm, that'd be pretty cool. Well, I, would, I would collect. I would be like, yo, I want a figure of myself. Uh, trying to find. You got matches on YouTube. Let's watch them. Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like you're, you produce the shows. Well, it makes sense if you're Giordano, the producer. Yeah. That's cool. Is that in like, well, where in Canada is this? Mm -hmm. Montreal, Quebec. Woo, very cool. Sami Zayn and KO. IWS Hardcore. Dope. One of them followers is Kevin Owens. 
and I follow custom figures they follow you too. Or the you know, the Kilpin. Pete Dunn. There's a name I know. Not personally, but I recognize. Very cool. Very cool. What am I drinking? Um, this is filtered water. And this is filtered water. Sorry. I don't drink. I'm CM Punk. Well, much better. Thank you, Jet. That's very nice of you. That's very nice of you. The channel. Jurassic Man. Okay, cool. Um, hmm. I need the Basher Buyer Jurassic World toys. The Al Source is a piece of shit. Uh, that one might have been the worst. No. Meh. That one, the Basher Buyer T Rex is there. Spinosaurus, not so much, but maybe the Al Source and the Basher Buyer T Rex. Those are the one and the twos. Might be my answer for you. Oh, it's Fire Limited Toys? Yeah, I haven't... I don't have any of those. Those are like the kind of cheaper versions of like Pop and Schleich. So... Eh. Master Builder Pablo. Favorite childhood toys is Red Rex. I think I answered that like a while ago. Like... Maybe unboxing number three. Or, uh... Um... Like one of the Jurassic Park or Star Wars live streams. I think you were there. They have custom Chicago Bullet Club shirts. Huh. You got my went to see the dress world. Oh, you saw it in October. I was there in September. Oh. I made my movie. I finally completed that. So. Uh, webcam I use for live show. I use a C920. It's a, I don't like Logitech. So, unfortunately, my next um, webcam is a Logitech 2. Razor's not going to send me one. So, uh, I, I throw on a, a, a sharpen filter. So, it looks better. Because... The lenses for Logitech, especially the C 930E and the C922, they're at least the C930E is a little wider, so you have to go in closer to get the same uh, angle. And it, it looks shitty, it looks like it's blurry, so you have to throw a sharp filter on I throw a sharp filter on this one anyway. So, what's up, Niner? Greetings, programs is right. Um, Jet, I have no idea, I couldn't tell, I have no idea why I don't have it, but. It'll come one day. Um, oh, Sammy for star there too. That's dope. Why does it say? Oh, do I follow Sammy on Twitter or just follow him on my Instagram? I follow him on uh, Twitter. Yeah, I do. He doesn't follow IWS. Dun, dun, dun. See? Then, uh, no, he don't follow it. Oh, he has no love for his hometown. Do you have on seller bonus store? I don't know. You can get them on uh, eBay too, maybe. But uh, back to Wiley about the le we webcams. Yeah. Uh, C920. And honestly, you got the C920, C922, C930E, the, the, the 4K Brio, um, the Razer Kyo, the Razer Stargazer. I'm a nerd. I'm sorry. I like tech. Um, out of all those, the best one, honestly, is this one. It's the C920. Best bang for your bucks. 50 bucks, 1080p, 30 frames. doesn't advertise 720, 60 frames, but it does it if you throw it in OBS. You crank it up. It'll work, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, Jurassic Wars. We don't, we're not talking about the leaks. Same with you, Hardcore. No leaks talking. We're not talking about the... Thank you, Heroic. Thank you very much. Read the books, Michael Crichton. Yes, I have. Uh, Rygan Rye, I think it's pronounced the name. I'm sorry for fucking up. I'm dyslexic and I suck at words. I'm a face guy. I'm a picture guy. Um, yeah. I got... I don't have the new one, but... I'm a mark for Crichton, I guess. I got a couple more. Don't worry. Hold on. And I've seen my favorite book all time. Yep. And then, uh... Oh, it's one more. This only one I actually completed besides the Jurassic Park films. That's really good. It's too expensive, though, to make a movie from. Way too expensive. I felt like Shia LaBeouf could have been one of the actors in the film. Or if they make it a play, but... It's too much money into the sets if they were to make those stuff, so... Oh, man... 
Chances Mattel get Star Wars in the future. Oh man, I would wish that would be great. Probably not. Honestly, I hope they don't let Hasbro have Star Wars. Because if Hasbro has both, then Hasbro maybe be like Mattel. Switch that around. Mattel might be like Hasbro. And by having all these licenses, might not care as much. And they put all the resources into Star Wars. So let Mattel not have Star Wars. I don't know. I'm very satisfied with the Lego shit. So yeah. Uh Oh. Uh. You rest on occasion, that's dope. Ah. Uh. Yo Deli, you Del. Thank you very much. Uh Noah, I just said earlier that uh I'm putting him in timeout. I said earlier that my was in Indiana. I don't live in Indiana. Dummy Bullet Club for life. Goodbye and good night. Bang. Gone. In time out. Hold on one second. Well, it looks like he's 10 years old, so whatever. I had that one. How did you get your stuff like that? Huh? What are you talking about? What's my next live stream? Oh, good question. Um. Elimination Chamber. Actually, no. It might be like this week. It might be playing WWE 2K16 one last time to show off the showcase mode, which is the reason why I want to do it. What's up, Chris? I'm all right. How about you? Um, I guess I want to use my controller, and I didn't get to show it off while I showed off my mods. So, yeah. Avengers should be dope. That's not a good trailer, though. I've never seen Westwood. Uh, what are the new box numbers for the Jurassic Park trilogy? They're terrible. Everybody knows that. Did I read last count? No, what was it? Let me know, and that'll be like the last question tonight, because it's hour 17. I'm so tired. You see me rub my damn eyes. Um, excited for the new dress for toys? Yeah, dude. Yes, yes. Hurrah, Carol. Yes. Jurassic Man, what was your comment? Uh, I'm trying to... Oh, have you seen the old... Is this it? Have you seen the old Mattel Disney Big Car and It's awesome for 2020. Yeah. I had it. It was in one of my reviews. And I sold it. I sold it for like 80 bucks. Something. I forget. Uh, yeah, it was like plastic. God, I'm trying to remember here. Plastic body. There's a plastic face. Articulated face. And at the end, it's a rubber tail. So, tell you, man. Tell you. Know, hit it out of the park and stuff. Tell you. Know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's where uh, my friend actually. I think Chris got me this. I think Chris got me this at a flea market or something. I lost mine. This is one of my favorite toys as a kid. Rubber. Spits water is amazing. I think I lost it. And uh, I found this at a flea market. Or Chris found it at a flea market. And yeah. Which review? I think it's a Schleich Connor Taurus. So go to my Schleich Connor. Ow. Fuck. It hurt. Go to my Schleich Connor Taurus review. And I'm pretty sure that uh, Connor was in there. Uh. Which, what, what is, what, what, oh, these are life once in a lifetime shit? I also have the electronic one, but this one's probably my favorite one. Um, once in a lifetime shit. You should see my friend Joey. He finds all that stuff at, uh, New Mexico. He lives in New Albuquerque. He finds all this stuff at, uh, flea markets there. Uh, Royal Rumble. Yes, uh, Clayton. Yes, I'll answer that. That would probably be my last question. Or, yeah, answer. Um, Roman was great, said Ronald. Yeah, Niter. We talked about that a little bit earlier. Um, thought the both Roman matches were awesome. Uh, the championship matches, the Universal and the WWE, was, eh, it was all right. Um, yeah, it's kind of disappointing. So, uh, Clayton, the Book of Henry review. That will probably be my last podcast um, for reviewing films, but obviously for analyzing films will be different style videos don't know when that's gonna be maybe this month maybe early next month hopefully got so much crap going on man so much stuff there's better Kane or Braun Strowman I want to say Braun Strowman but I've been a Kane fan since I was a little kid so I'll say Kane because I like Kane personally even though I follow both of them on social media all right <sighs> hardcore wish you luck in your video um, I think that's it.
that's it for tonight. The remaining 22 people watching, hour 20 minutes long and 24 seconds. Um, was it junior novelization? I have no idea. Yep. Have a good one, Giordano. Everybody else, cheers after Elimination Chamber. Let me tell you when that is. It is the 25th of February. So it's pretty much a month from now. A month from now is the next one. Giordano helped out uh, donating to like a Finn Balor or whatever the hell we choose to do for that one. So, yes. So thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully it's not as jittery. The next one should be better. The settings should be fixed because I had to re thanks to freaking um, see it, Pablo. Thanks to Logitech, I had to reset everything. But at least this looks cool. This looks cooler than it used to. Um, but it might have been a little glitchy tonight. The next one will be better. Better webcam. Should be as glitchy. See you guys. Thanks for watching. I don't know if I like the music or not. Maybe the music will change on the next one. But yeah, we'll see. All right, adios, amigos. Peace out. Yo.